Oil exploration is booming in North America, and that means more trains full of crude on the move across the country. Concerns over safety were heightened with a recent derailment and explosion that killed 50 people in Quebec. But experts say the industry's reliance on trains will not be reduced anytime soon. It's more flexible, uh, it's less capital intensive, it doesn't uh, require as costly and, and deep environmental reviews. Much of the worry centers not on the trains, but on the tanker cars, known as DOT 111s, and their susceptibility to punctures. Bob Chipkovich is the former director of the National Transportation Safety Board's Railroad Investigations. He says the agency knows the tankers are unsafe and has made recommendations to improve them. Uh, they basically uh, came to a conclusion that clearly uh, in a derailment involving multiple tank cars, you can expect these tank cars to fail. DOT 111s remain in widespread use, not only for oil, but other hazardous liquids as well. In the meantime, refineries across the country are gearing up for increased production. Elizabeth, New Jersey Mayor Chris Ballwage says the Northeast region is prepared for any uncertainties. The people in our city and our region are not waking up every morning thinking about how dangerous those tracks are. Yet it is a major concern to emergency medical services, police and fire. This year, nearly 1,400 carloads of crude will cross North America every day, compared to just 31 a day in 2009. John Belmont, Associated Press.